Hey coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we're going to take a look at the 1966 Australia one cent coin and you can see it right here on the right. It's next to a 1956 or an old Wheat Ears uh, Lincoln Penny and you can see that it's significantly smaller than the Lincoln Penny. 1966, the year that Australia went to decimalization. And so this is the first of them. And this is a strange looking bird. Take a look at this as I make it a little bit bigger. Jeez. It's not a bird. I don't mean bird. I mean strange looking thing. And what on earth is it? Well, it is, of course, a flying possum. And so uh, when they went to decimalization, um, they had had these big pennies before, and you've probably seen them. Um, they have, uh, the, here's a one from 19, whoa, it's way bigger, isn't it? Here's one from 1955 that's the Australia one penny coin. It doesn't say one penny, it just says Australia on it and penny, and, and here's the year. And George Kruger Gray, of course, was the a man who uh, engraved these coins. And of course, on the front, it had Queen Elizabeth II. This is the um, first portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, right here. And then, in 1966, they came out with a new portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, the Arnold Machen portrait, wearing the Girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara. It says Elizabeth II behind her, Australia, 1966 in the front. And this was the decimalization uh, coin the one penny coin. So instead of 240 of these pennies to Australian dollar, there were 100 of these tiny pennies to the Australian dollar. And it's just a, just a nice coin. And it does, and let's look at the back, because when we see it says one on here, this is actually um, not a penny coin at all. And some of the Australian viewers say to me, what the heck are you saying? Well, in the United States, we use it pretty interchangeably. Uh, there's pennies and there's cents. And as I showed you, the, the, uh, the Lincoln coin is always called the Lincoln penny. But if we look at the back, it, it's one cent. It's not a penny. Uh, there's nowhere on any U.S. coins that it says one penny. But we call the, this the Lincoln penny, even though it's a one cent coin. Well, the Australian viewers often say to me, it's, this is how we differentiate, they say. This is a penny. This is a cent. So when you move to 1966, you don't have pennies anymore. Um, you have one cent coins. Now, not only did you have one cent coins, in this, when they moved the back, of course, the George Kruger Gray um, jumping kind of kangaroo, hopping kangaroo, was on the back until they moved to um, the one cent coins. And actually, now you know, of course, it's on the back of the mob of ruse or the one dollar coin from Australia. So when they moved to do the back of the new coins, they wanted something uniquely Australian on the back. And they asked Stuart Devlin, who was just an incredible engraver, um, to do the back of these coins. And he, on this one, it's a feather tail glider. Um, and you can see something here. You can see the one, but I'll show you a couple other things that are very important on this Australia coin. There's actually an S and a D right down here, right above the top of my pen. And if you look, let me see if I can make it a little bit better focused right there. That S and D right there stand for Stuart Devlin. And when they came out with these in 1966, because they wanted to get them done quickly and because they wanted to make a lot of them, they did it at three different mints. And I'll show you how you can tell kind of the difference between the mints, but it's actually really hard to do. But let me tell you what the mints were. They, there was the Canberra mint, there was the Melbourne mint, and then there was the Perth mint. So those three each had a different kind of version. And by different version, I'll tell you what the difference was. Over here on this side where the whiskers are, see there's whiskers on both sides. 
if you go to this second whisker, and it's a little shorter than the first two, so this is one in the middle, two there, three. If you go to that second whisper, whisker and it's a little shorter, that's the Perth Mint, and that's what this one is here. If it's full length, it's going to be either the Canberra Mint or the Perth Mint, I mean, or the Melbourne Mint. But how do you figure out which is a Melbourne Mint between Melbourne and Canberra? Well, you look at this one. If this end one is short, then that's the Melbourne Mint. So this is a full length whisker for Melbourne. It's a little short. Uh, that that makes it um, Perth. So it's a full length. I, I'm, I'm saying it can't be Melbourne because it's a full length. This one, second one's a little short, so that means that it's Perth. And the Canberra one will have no blunted whiskers at all. So that's how you can tell the difference. What else did they come out with? Well, they came out with this one. Look at that lizard. Uh, and it, again, you can see on this one much better, the SD. And this is the two cent coin from Australia. And again, this is a two cent coin from 1966. They came out with another uh, back. And, and the, look at this one. This is the five cent coin. And it's like the little spiny anteater. And these coins are all significantly smaller than the old coins. They came out with a 20 cent coin. And of course, that's the platypus. A 5 cent coin. And this is the lyre bird. You can actually see the bird in there. There's his, his rear end. Um, and this is these beautiful feathers that are that the, the bird kind of puts up and actually can camouflage, but also makes it look beautiful when they're up. Um, and of course, no Australia video would be um, complete without showing the half penny with the... <laughs> so this is what the half penny used to be. George Kruger Gray, of course. There were 408 of these to the, uh, uh, the Australian pound uh, or dollar. And then when we... Um, uh, went to decimalization, they got down to, there were only 100 of these to the Australian dollar. And this is the 1966 Australian one cent coin. And if you're collecting these, they're not hugely valuable. Because they made so many in 1966, um, in Australia, you can probably get one of these for 10 cents or 15 cents. Um, it's worth about the same, whether it's Canberra, Melbourne, but Perth is worth a little bit more, maybe twice as much. The Perth Mint, you can probably get get a, a really good one for a dollar and an uncirculated one for about six dollars. All right. Oh, and of course, they had proof sets um, in 1966, and those are very valuable. And they had carded year sets and two coin sets and uh, blue wallet sets and Operation Fast Buck sets and Reserve Bank colored wallet sets and VIP presentation wallets. So these coins came out in a lot of different fashions in 1966. All right, love my Australian coins. Don't have as many of them as I'd like, but I really like this one, which is the 1966 one cent coin from Australia. We'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and leave any comments you have for DC Coin World in the comments section.